I only speak Puerto Rican, so I don't know. Ow. Where am I going with this hair? I don't know. ourselves a morning okay Tyler and I woke up at 7 in the morning from a loud beep and power was out and we're like what's going on and we're like okay no the bill was paid like what's going on we had no power there was a power outage in our entire neighborhood from 7 a.m. until about I don't even know what time it is because the stove till about an hour ago so till about noon it was so hot in our house we couldn't make breakfast, couldn't make coffee, so we ended up going to Taino Bakery, which is a Puerto Rican bakery that's like not too far from us. We went there to get ourselves some breakfast and some coffee, um, and then Tyler showered and left to work because there wasn't anything he could do from here anyway. And I showered, and I was doing my makeup because I was going to do my hair at my mom's house. I was like, okay, I'll just take my stuff, I'll go to my mom's, it'll be fine. But as I was doing my makeup, the power came back on. So. I had told my mom already that I was going to go see her and I want to make sure that I'm really good about going to see my mom constantly, especially after my grandmother passed away. It just puts things into perspective and I just want to make sure I'm seeing my mom as often as I can, especially she only lives 20 minutes away from me. So I just got ready real quick. I have on the um, Iris bungee cami, black linen pants, just some flip flops. Um, my necklaces, this was custom made in New York. This is my little croissant. From Catbird, I got this. It's a pendant that has a T in it. I know it's kind of hard to see. I got this on Amazon. I'll link it for you guys. All of my earrings are from Amazon. I am obsessed with my stack right now. It's so good. Um, so all these are from Amazon. I'll link everything for you guys um, below. But I'm about to go to my mom's now and just hang out. I did a couple TikToks this morning. Posted them already. And yeah, I just want to go see my mom for a little bit. I'm going to put on some perfume. Putting on Vanilla Woods. And then once I get back home, I'm going to do my nails because I popped off my entire hand yesterday. I think it was like anxiety or something. I don't know. But I'm looking for my wallet and my keys so I can head over there. And I'm just going to spend some QT with my mom. It's 1 o'clock, so I'll probably stay over there till around 4 so that I can beat traffic coming back home. Um, but yeah, I figured I would bring you guys along with me today. And whenever else, because that's what vlogs are for. I'm here with my mama. She's making dinner. We just opened a bottle of Cabernet. Some truffles. We're having some truffles. What are these? These are lint truffles. Her neighbor dropped them off for her mm -hmm. with some flowers. Because I have good neighbors. Yep. To offer his condolences, which was very sweet. Mm -hmm. And now we're eating them. And our cousins are coming over. So this is yep. going to turn into an evening. Because oh. I was going to leave 50 minutes ago. Oh, yeah. But here we are. Mm -hmm. That's good. Deal with rush hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, now at least I'll wait till after rush hour to, to go home. I have already had myself like a whole day, basically. It's <clears throat> one o'clock and I actually had an interview today at 11. So I did my interview. It went really, really well. I think I got the job, cross the fingers. It's five minutes from my house. So yeah, um, and then after I came home, I changed real quick because I was in like dress pants and a dress shirt. No, so I came home real quick to um, change and then I went and I had to go to the grocery store because we have no meat for dinners. And the cats, the animals are out of food. So I picked up ground turkey, which I'm going to leave this out for today. I'm going to make crunch wraps for dinner. I have some stir fry style steak. This is the only type of steak that I like buying um, because I'm not like a huge steak person. And then I got one pack of chicken breast tenderloin. I got Tyler some more blueberry muffins. He really likes these from Publix. They have like the crumbles on them. He really, really enjoys these. And he's already down to... Four muffins and I bought him eight muffins a couple days ago. So yeah, he, he, he goes ham. Um, Tyler wanted like spreadable country crock roast, but he wanted that. 
Um, and I got some bana, which I think I'm gonna make for lunch because I am very hungry. So yeah, I have had a day already because it's, I left for my interview at 11, so I was up and just doing things. I had terrible sleep last night. Um, I don't really know why, but I just did not have good sleep last night. So uh, I, I don't know if like the, the meat that I made wasn't good or what, but me and Tyler, both our stomachs were hurting. And um, now that I'm like, I'm already dressed for the day, like I already um, makeup and all that. So I am gonna take advantage and do a couple TikToks. So I have still a lot left for me to do for the day. And then home stuff, I need to clean the cat's litter box and I bought a new thing of litter, so I need to pack that up. Oh, I am very hungry right now and I don't know what I wanna make. I kinda wanna make this bana, but I don't know what I wanna make out of it. I don't know if I wanna do loaded. Ooh, I should make loaded tostones with shrimp. That is exactly what I'm going to make. I have this. couple shrimp in here that I'm gonna defrost. I got Tyler a waffle maker last night or yesterday because he really, really wanted one. He wanted waffles, so I was like, okay. So I picked him up one of those. I'm kinda nervous if I get this job, how life is gonna change because I have such a flow of my like current life and my lifestyle that I'm like, oh my God, like how are things gonna change? Like right now I can up and do whatever I need to do throughout the day, but I know that that's gonna change. I mean, everybody does it. Like most people work a regular, Nine to five. I don't know. I'm like so like, oh, I'm not going to be able to have like my free time in the middle of the day to do whatever I need to do, whether it's grocery shopping, run errands, appointments, anything like that. But this is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to do this and make more money. And I'm already thinking about like building up my savings and paying off my cards and travel and being able to put money towards things like that and all that so yeah there's something in my bra that's like pricking me and it's bothering the shit out of me but i don't know what it is but yeah i'm gonna um make myself some lunch i'm just gonna do loaded bana so i'm gonna do three of these i'm gonna air fry them most likely shrimp I'll probably do lettuce, some cheese, some tomatoes, cilantro, Greek yogurt. I'm making like a nice little yummy thing for lunch. And then um, I'm gonna change and get to working, get to filming some content. What's up you guys? Man, my vlogging has been all over the place. I have underestimated how hard it is to post on all like platforms it seems like it's like nothing but it is so i don't want to say hard because let's be real it's not hard work it's just kind of confusing how to juggle it like okay i'm gonna record this for tiktok and then i'm gonna post this for instagram but then i need to record for youtube and it's just been really confusing trying to like my hair looks crazy navigate all of it so today's monday and i'm like okay i need to get back on my flow of things um so as soon as I woke up, I did my normal routine and I made coffee for both Tyler and myself. I fed the animals, let Lenny out, and I came into the room and I just started like cleaning up because I have a video that I want to film today and upload today. I need to upload today. Um, so I've just been like organizing this room because it's a little messy from like over the weekend and I kind of have a lot of things that I have to do. I have to go to the post office again. I have to hang up a whole bunch of clothes. I need to create my phone rack. I got a rack. I don't even think I told you guys. I got a rack for my clothes so that I can prioritize what I need to take videos of, do TikToks of, like all that stuff. I need to still take Lenny for a walk because he's been driving me insane. I'm gonna hang up just like a whole bunch of clothes. So I'm just like kind of straightening up. I'll probably straighten up for the next like 15 minutes and then I need to change and take Lenny, I'm filming a jewelry video today because I've added so many really cute new pieces of jewelry from like different places, whether it's 
I've got some from Amazon. Like I have like really cute like ooh, statement, fun statement pieces. I think I told you guys in another video. I'm getting I'm getting like back into my jewelry game again. Um, I used to be like I used to be so heavy in my jewelry, even like my little dainty things. If you guys have been following me for a while, I used to have like a ring on every finger, just a ton of jewelry. Um, and I kind of, I don't know, I kind of fell off a bit. So I have been slowly like adding new pieces and I wanted to do a whole video on it. So that's the video that I'm going to film today. I need to do a TikTok. I don't know what I'm going to style, but I'm going to style something. I have an outfit for a like gifted collab from NAKD have that there um and then i need to get working on another video i just have like a lot of videos to do and i need to write everything down i think that's where like my brain got scrambled i haven't written it all down so i figured i would vlog today because i haven't vlogged So we are back from our walk, and I just got home to a really exciting package. It's jewelry, and I am so excited. So anyways, we just got back from our walk, and it is freaking hot. So I'm about to make myself a quick breakfast. I think I'm gonna finish my egg whites, because I don't have much left. Yeah, I barely have any left. One of these little bagel things, which I love. These are the bagel skinnies. And man, you guys, I've been feeling so good. Just way more energy, lighter, just better. And it's crazy how, like, I still eat everything that I want. If you guys want another what I eat in a day, please let me know. I'm always, I think I talked about it in another vlog. I'm always very careful about posting what I eat in a day and stuff like that because it can be very triggering um, for people with eating disorders and all that stuff the delicious things that i have been coming up with and that's why i think i told you guys in another video that's why i love kind of sharing what i'm eating especially if i'm in like a, a calorie deficit because you get really creative when you're like okay i have this many calories for the day what delicious yummy meals that are satisfying am i going to make with these calories and the shit i be coming up with you guys it's good stuff so i'm going to make that bagel sandwich i have this tempty whipped cream cheese this is the best cream cheese to exist. It is the best cream cheese ever. 80 calories for two tablespoons, which is pretty much what it is for all cream cheese. So I'm literally just gonna put um, egg whites in the pan. I'm gonna do some tomato slices and then we're gonna do some cream cheese. Very simple, very easy, super delicious, satisfying, and calorie friendly this is not a what i eat in a day by the way if anybody does want to see that that is not what this is but those bagel slices were 110 plus this is probably like 125 plus 80 350 calories for my breakfast and that is going to be bomb so i'm going to make my breakfast real quick and then as soon as i'm done i'm jumping into the shower i need to fix up my hair I have to fix up my hair. Probably gonna do like some waves in it or something because I washed it yesterday. I need to pick out an outfit that I wanna style. I have just a lot of content that I have to film. So I'll try recording as much as I can. I'm pretty annoyed because my tomato was bad and I really, really wanted like a really nice thick slice of tomato in my sandwich. So all I have is cream cheese, egg whites. I definitely would have like pumped it up if I wasn't gonna have, if I knew I wasn't gonna have tomatoes in it, so that's annoying. Um, but anyways, here's my cute little sandwich for breakfast. Okay, so I just finished 
making a TikTok and a reel. I'm about to sit down and do my jewelry video. I'm kind of debating on if I want to film it here or if I want to film it like I have more pretty spaces in the house that I could film like maybe like sitting here so that this is my background. Like I feel like I could do a couple different a couple different like cute little things in the background. So I need to pick where I want to film so that I can set up and I have to bring all of my jewelry that I wanted to talk about over there. So yeah, that's why it's been so hard for me to film video, like YouTube, like vlog while also doing all of this because I'm literally just like grabbing and recording, grabbing and recording, grabbing and recording. So it doesn't feel like fun. I think I need to change my shirt though because I want to show some necklaces that I got and I can't with this top. So I think I'm going to change into a different blouse or like a top vibe. I just don't know what I have a cut in my nose and it's driving me insane. Like I could totally do just like a white cropped tank. Like that could be super easy, which actually I think I will do that. And all the jewelry will stick out nicely against it. Okay, so I just finished filming a video, a little sit down video in my corner. I think that's gonna be my new filming corner, I think. And um, now I'm about to uh, work on editing that video. And I really want my hair out of, like, stop not, not touching me anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Today has been a good content, a good content day. Um, I still have a lot of work that I have to do, but good content day overall. I need to organize all of my jewelry. I need to just do a lot of organizing in here. I'm going to start editing and get that video uploaded, like, as soon as I'm done with it. Hey, guys many hours later i um finished filming my video went live i edited uploaded everything that i had to do i'm watching some love island right now it's five o'clock so i'm just like watching some love island i'm finishing a little bit of rosé that i had aren't these glasses beautiful my friend Catherine got them for me you can't see the iridescence of them but they're beautiful they're from anthropology i love them but i am just winding down kind of like for the evening or whatever i did my video which i'm pretty excited about i'm here trying to figure out an outfit for these pants i need to shoot it today for a brand so i have this type of vibe a strapless bodysuit with these trousers or a button up option i'm gonna take a shower get ready we're gonna try these pieces on see what looks the best i have a shirt as well but i just need to see if i see if i like how the shirt goes with it so we'll see well here's what i landed on the orange pants these are super cute like light orange little trousers i need to tuck all this in and I just have on an oversized white button up. I want it to look very like beachy and casual. I have this super old scarf from BNC and then the Desi sunglasses. So now I have to go outside and attempt to get a really cute set of photos for this. What's up you guys? My vlogging has been all over the place. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie because I am having a hard time balancing all this all these different things but i'm sitting down right now to get ready okay so i have a towel on i'm not naked um and i figured i would turn on the camera and start vlogging like while i get ready i have some content that i need to do i to untangle my hair i am almost at 10,000 followers on tiktok i gave i told myself by the end of july I was gonna give myself till July 31st to have 10,000. And I'm at 9,965 as of this morning. And I have not done anything special. I have just posted every single day. I'm doing the uh, Halo Glow from e.l.f. I love this in the color five. Yeah, I have just been posting every single day. Outfits, talking, random things, lip combos. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, 
my tiktok is just ivana cora i try to keep everything super super simple um but i've just been posting every day it's been benefiting brendalyn and cora myself obviously um i have not heard back from any brands that i reached out to which is totally fine i'm not mad about it because there are probably thousands of people that hit these brands up on like a daily i am back to my best skin ever concealer this is 25.5 wide i love this freaking concealer it has such a good consistency like i really love it but yeah i'm trying to kind of get more creative with my tiktok content someone had written me and was like you should do a day in the life but it's so hard when like you're trying to put all of your content across so many different platforms that it's like okay i have to vlog my life like my daily life and then tiktok my daily life and then constantly post on instagram so it's just like hard trying to figure out like what to post where so i'm trying to navigate that so that i can like branch off with my content but we'll see today i'm going to try doing two different forms of outfit content at the same time so normally i just like walk into the video and show the outfit edit it and that's it i'm gonna try talking about my outfit today and also doing that same type of thing just to see what what happens that and that's all what i've noticed is that it's all just like trying something seeing what happens because every single day <coughs> The outcome is different. I just got this two-piece set from Meshki that I've been wanting. You guys, when I say forever, I have been wanting this set forever. It's linen because, duh. I mean, at this point, I should be part linen because it is just my favorite fabric. No matter how annoying it is to steam, knowing that it's going to get messed up again. I don't even care because I love it so freaking much. I'm finishing up this powder. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect one. There's like barely any in here, but just trying to finish all of my makeup that I have because realistically, the only thing that I ever have to like repurchase is mascara and brow pencils. Like that's the only thing that I use that I need a lot. I need to like re replace the most constant Tyler actually went to a junkyard. He was trying to see if he could find something for his truck. So I was like, okay, while you're gone, I'm going to get myself ready. And then I think once I'm done, I am, I'm going to try to do a couple TikToks at the same time. Just because I'm ready. Once I'm done, I'm going to straighten up my room a little bit. I started this morning. There's just like, because I've been getting ready every day and like putting on outfits every day. There's just clothes everywhere. But I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to finally build my rolling rack or like my rack it's just like a gold garment rack and i just want to pull it out so i could organize what outfits i want to shoot and do tiktoks on because i'm not buying new clothes or anything i'm just working with what's already in my closet and i it like just gives you the option to like play around with what you own so i'm probably going to finally build that at some point today I have a sponsored video that i need to film which i need to probably do that either today or tomorrow i'm still acting every day as if this is my full-time job and i know i have not been able to post as much i was posting three days a week before and i just i can't do it and one something that i've noticed is that when i post less each video gets more views like why I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. That's why social media is such a game. Like, you never know what's going to happen. Like, some of my vlogs have 2,000 views. And that, like, doesn't happen until, like, after a while. Or if it's, like, a really hype type of content. But this is all just a game is what I have learned. It's all a game. But um, I'm going with it. And I'm seeing what happens. Me and Tyler are back to watching videos about moving to the Netherlands. Who knows what'll happen in the next couple of years. I have really been liking this mascara, The Lash Paradise. Like, I really like it. And I am such a creature of habit that I do not change up my makeup. Like, I've been using the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara for ever. Since I first got introduced to it when I was working at Sephora. We got it in gratis, like, right when it first launched. So I don't change up my makeup. You guys know that. 
This mascara is bomb. I only bought it because I needed something fast, so I ordered it on Amazon because it was on Prime. And I really, really like it. It's really black. It makes my lashes look pretty long. Someone had also asked me in one of my videos, um, or I guess recommended doing like travel videos, like for when I went to like Puerto Rico with my friends. And the, the reason that I don't vlog every single time I go somewhere, I vlogged, I remember when we went to Italy the first time, I vlogged like a couple places. I, I vlogged Aruba, but you have to kind of remember or I guess consider that not everybody wants to be on camera. So if I'm vlogging and I'm on a girls trip and a lot of and a lot of the the girls on the trip don't want to be on camera, there's really nothing to vlog at that point because you're being so interactive with who you're with. I also like for that trip specifically going to Puerto Rico. That was for my best both my best friends birthdays. So we were celebrating their birthdays and we were in water a lot like almost every day we were in the beach at El Junque there was no way to vlog because I'm literally climbing a rainforest on the boat day that we went I couldn't vlog because we were in the water we were on the island so it's like there's certain places that are easy to vlog like I feel like if I went to like a city like let's say we plan a trip to New York that would be super easy to vlog Amsterdam London a lot of Europe super easy to vlog but an island type of trip is a lot harder because you spend so much time in the water. And also, that was the first trip that I'd taken since we got married over a year ago. So like, I wasn't thinking about vlogging. I just wanted to relax and be in Puerto Rico and be with my friends and have fun. So I think that if, if we end up pulling off this Europe trip that we're really trying to make happen later this year, I'll definitely vlog. Because one of the stops we wanna do, you guys already know Amsterdam is like our favorite place in the world. If we end up stopping at Amsterdam, we've been to Amsterdam enough times at this point that if we go, I'd know exactly how to vlog, I'd be comfortable vlogging, I'd know like when to take out my camera, when not to, although it's very, very safe over there. Like that, I would know what to do. London, I'd know what to do. Uh, France, I've never been and that's where we're looking at going, but not to Paris. I have no desire to go to Paris. I prefer the south of France. I've always told Tyler. If we ever go to France, I want to go to like Nice or just like the French Riviera. I don't want to go to Paris. I have zero desire. So if we were to do that, I would definitely vlog, like for sure. I'm using uh, Morphe Bite Me. This is such a good lip liner. And I need to go get my jewelry fix, man. I have a bracelet that my dad bought me and my ankle bracelet that I need to take to the jeweler so that they can fix it because they like detached. This is uh, the Dame Boss No Whip No Foam. There we go. Makeup is done. I need to do this hair though. I'm gonna use this wand. I need to buy dry shampoo. I need to get a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be back when I'm done. So I finished my makeup and I was doing my hair and my hair is so dirty. And I don't have dry shampoo really to make it like I never do my hair this tight. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It looks pretty, but it's just not like I like a very relaxed <laughs> like wave to my hair. And this is oh, my hair is disgustingly dirty. This is like really tight. Again, it's not ugly. It's pretty. It's just where am I going with this hair? I don't know. I'm about to pull out my flat iron and flat iron a couple of pieces. That's like the only thing I use my flat iron for because I do not flat iron my hair. So I just filmed three TikToks, posted on Instagram. I'm dressed, obviously, um, and I just had break. I just had lunch. Tyler put some brats on the on the grill and had some with Doritos. It was really got a good amount of things done. Now I have all of my prendas. That's what we call them in Spanish. Well, I don't know if they say that in like other. Spanish countries. I only speak Puerto Rican, so I don't know. I have on all my fun things. I'm about to tidy up this room because, again, I threw all my clothes out. I'm gonna show you guys this outfit that I got from Meshki. When I tell you guys, I have been waiting for this to come back in stock for maybe three months. I've been wanting it for so long. This was what I originally wanted when I got the linen 
the black linen vest and pants from Target, but this one was sold out. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to get myself a black one because I know I want this one in tan. This is, I haven't tried it on or anything because I just, I don't want to try it on until like I'm actually getting ready to wear it. So this is from Meshki. Um, this was like on the pricier side. Meshki, I, I love their clothes. Their bathing suits suck, but I love their clothes. So this is the top. Mm. It's a linen strapless top and it comes with, well, it doesn't come with, it's paired with these linen pants. Do you, see, I'm really, really hoping we end up going to Europe because I, this is coming to Europe. Like it's a strapless, I'll put a picture of the model wearing it because I'm not gonna wear it yet. I don't have like an occasion to wear it. So maybe if like I go on a date night with Tyler or something, I will wear it, but I am obsessed. It came in I think this color, white and black, if I'm not mistaken. I'll leave them linked down below for you guys. I got it in a medium because it's linen. I think it's linen and rayon actually, let me look. Which is still a really, really nice fabric. Yeah, I got these in medium. It is... Linen and viscosity. So the pants are very, very beautiful. Like, really, really nice quality. And they're like a looser, hopefully looser, because my hips don't lie. A looser fitting situation i don't remember how much this set was to be honest but when i tell you i have been waiting for this to restock for months every single time i go to like order it if i was like oh my god let me just check for that outfit from meshki the only size left was extra small so i am just like how fly is this even with like a pair of shorts so cute so i just want to save that for like a cute date night or like a girl's night or just something that i want to like really dress up now i have to do like i said i need to clean all this stuff up i wore these earrings as well i love these earrings they're so fun i also ordered a big pack of these i think i showed them to you guys starting to get anxiety because there's stuff everywhere because i'm in this room working so much so i'm gonna tidy this up and i'm gonna let you guys watch me been editing non-stop and ow are my shorts wet i'm hungry i want like a snack before i start thinking about dinner oh the pool looks so good don't mind the grill and this tyler wanted to block 
the pond so that our fish would be comfortable. <laughs> um, but it's not gonna permanently stay there. So anyway, I wanna make myself like a snack for lunch. Not for lunch, for like in between, but I don't, I don't know what. We had sandwiches for dinner last night. And you guys know, you guys know how I feel about a sandwich. Sandwich is gonna hit every time. I have this 45 calorie bread because you can still have sandwiches if you're on a calorie deficit. I have 45 calorie bread. I have. I don't know if I want to use boar's head, white Vermont cheese, or yellow American cheese. So it's either cheddar or American. I think I want cheddar. Boar's head from the deli, and then some oven gold turkey breast, and then I have lettuce, and I have tomato. Tyler should have bought another tomato because we're going to finish these quick. Ooh, I have a sandwich press oh my god you guys this is gonna be so good i'm telling you when i say i make delicious things that are healthy and i don't like using that term but i make some yummy stuff totally forgot we have a panini press oh, i think it needs to be clean this in a very long time um, since way before we moved this is from Hamilton Beach and again you guys already know I'm a sandwich girl I love sandwiches but there's nothing better than a pressed sandwich or a toasted sandwich there's um in Amsterdam if you get a toasty t-o-s-t-i it's basically like this really crispy sandwich on like delicious bread and it's usually like ham and cheese oh shit is there, i'm like why is it so hot it's already warming up you can probably get this at like walmart if i can find it on amazon i'll leave it linked down below again it's hamilton beach this is probably very 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 inexpensive we're gonna do two slices of this sheet of this bread this is 45 calorie uh honey whole wheat from sarah lee so we'll just put that there so that it can get nice and warm first. I'm using mustard, duh. I'm gonna put mustard on one slice. This is Kewpie mayo. You can obviously use regular mayo, but Kewpie mayo is better. This is probably like a teaspoon of mayo. Then I'm gonna put one slice of uh, this cheese boom i don't know how much how many calories are in it probably like i don't know 80 calories there's lenny and then we have this oven gold turkey i'm only gonna do one slice this is a little broken piece i'm only gonna do one slice because there's like only three slices here and I don't want this to be a huge sandwich because I have to make dinner soon. Some yummy oven roasted turkey. I'm just gonna rip off. God, it's already hot. I hope it doesn't burn. Turn it off for a second. I haven't used it in a while, so I don't remember how long it takes. Lettuce, tomato, which is also like, this 
zero calories. Oh, it wasn't burning or anything. I'm gonna eat it on this, so I'm just gonna slice it right there. Some tomato. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Always, always salt your sandwiches. So we got some flaky salt. Now we'll plug this back in. Slide it over. And press. And now we wait, and it won't take too long. Why is it sticking? Our sandwich. No sandwich is complete without chips on the side. All right, I'm gonna watch some Love Island. Why it does? Mm. And then it's back to editing. I wanted to come on and close this vlog. My kitchen is a disaster. Tyler and I um, ordered Mexican last night. Literally, oof. Sorry, it's really humid. Um, we ordered Mexican last night and just like put on a movie. Hopefully this is not what. Okay. Um, that's how humid it is out here. Um, we ordered Mexican from some spot that we've never ordered from before and uh, literally laid in bed, watched a movie and knocked out. It was lovely, so like, the takeout bag is like on the counter. There's just like drinks everywhere. I need to just like clean it up because we just like vegged out last night. Um, he ran and got us coffees from Wawa. The cafe con leche from Wawa is so good. So anyways, I am going to end this vlog here so that I can get it up for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of my, how like up and down my life has been lately, but um, I will see you guys in the next one.